went to Disney for the first time, a trip to Disney, that was, uh, that was rough. That was rough. That is not a good place. They call it the happiest place on earth. For who? For who? Oh, look, I love the idea. I love the idea that this man created something out of his own head. He just wanted to create a nice little place where families can go and kids can let their imagination run wild and feel safe for a couple hours in this horrible world. Beautiful idea, but what he couldn't foresee when he was developing it in 1950 was the type of people it was going to attract <laughs> in 2016 in the United States of America. Because they didn't make these kind of people back then. There weren't dinosaur-sized people stomping through the park with their elephant children attached to their tail. <laughs> Pushing the biggest strollers I've ever seen. I had no idea John Deere made strollers. <laughs> One woman had five kids in it. I, I, I never, I don't know what you even call that. A pentalometer, a jumbotron, five pumpkin-faced kids eating cheeseburgers, and she's plowing through the crowd, knocking other families out of the way like tumbleweeds, just so she can get to the churro stand first. <laughs> then there are people there, women who have no children at all, who want to be a princess themselves. Grown women who want to be a princess. They want to dress like Cinderella, but they don't make a Cinderella dress. For someone 48 years old, 6'5", 380. <laughs> they never had a meeting and said, let's make more of those. Does that stop them? No, it does not. They buy that dress, they stuff everything they have into it, and a lot doesn't fit. There's a lot of extra hanging over the sides. But that's okay, they're happy there. They have their autograph book and their wand and they skip through the park. Fine. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna fall for it. I didn't, I didn't think we were gonna go. I didn't, but once you make your own people, the ads just find you. Every time you open your phone, open your laptop, turn on TV, there they are, just selling you joy and perfection, right? Every time you turn it on, the mom and dad are beautiful, perfect teeth and hair, clothes, I love you. No, I love you. You're beautiful, no, you're beautiful. Our Kids are beautiful, and the kids are holding Mickey's hand, looking back at the parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for not being stupid and poor. <laughs> I'll admit it, I wanted to be that family. I wanted to be that family. We were not that family. We didn't come close. We were not perfect. We were sweaty and pissed off and cursing in front of the children. This is your fault if your parents didn't raise you like an animal we would have left it a little bit earlier and the kids don't even hear us because they're slapping each other in the face <laughs> and we haven't even parked yet <laughs> we haven't even parked we're still in the van we're pissed off because we didn't get to park in mickey and minnie parking they sent us with that big hand to the <laughs> end of chippendale parking <laughs> that's another tram ride we didn't plan for then you get to the front of the park. I know it's a cliche, but you get up there, you open your wallet, they take everything you got. <laughs> everything, every dollar, every coin, every credit card, gym memberships, pictures of your family, unused condoms. That mouse rapes you at the turnstile and you have to plaster a smile on your face in front of your kids because you don't want to ruin the happiest place on earth. It's gonna be a great day, guys. <laughs> It's really gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> then you get inside, it's just line after line after line. I thought I was gonna beat it. I had the app on my phone. I'm like, I'm gonna beat him. No, you're not beating Disney. I'm like, let's go on the Peter Pan ride. That's a horrible ride from 1912. <laughs> Look, no one wants to even go on it. The line only goes back and forth two times. Yeah, up here. Then they take you to the basement. It loops around for three days. <laughs> then you shoot you out the ass and it goes around the Matterhorn 12 times. And it's a bad ride, it's a bad ride. Old cardboard cutouts, Christmas lights that don't even work anymore. All the voices are jumbled. I'm Tinkerbell, I'm Tinkerbell. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Was it worth it? No, what would be worth it? Nothing. I get to the end of that line, there could be naked supermodels with bags of money and all you could eat nachos. I'd be like, no, not into it. You lied to me. Here's what I learned though, here's what I learned. If you're gonna go, and if you make your own people, you're gonna have to go. You just wanna go once, you wanna go once. So you gotta blow it out. 
Make it all about the kids. Go big. Give them your money. Here's $300 cash, kids. Spend it the way you want to spend it. It's your day. And halfway up Main Street, they'll be broke. Because they're small, and they're stupid, and gullible. And they're going to buy a lot of blinking stuff that's not going to work by the time they get outside. And now they're laying in the gutter of Main Street like little Disney hobos. Broken toys, crying, just yelling at the characters. Get over here, duck, and shake your ass. I got nothing left. Make sure you film with sugar, a lot of sugar. Make them tweak out on sugar. Don't even have to wear sunblock. How about that, kids? You hate when I put it on you. I don't want to put it on you. Don't wear it. I bet you don't even burn in Disney. They do burn, especially when they're little. They turn purple and they start to blister. And now they're crying, they got broken toys, they're crashing on sugar. And this is when you walk them. You gotta walk the out of them. Give them the map, anywhere you wanna go. Oh, you wanna go from a car's ride to it's a small world? Sure, 20 miles apart, let's start walking. Midnight rolls around, they've been on two rides the whole day. We'll never go back again. My kids see that mouse now, they shake like they went to war with it.